Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Tutor for Finance. Uh, today we're going to be talking about dividend yields and how to solve the different types of dividend yield problems you may see in your finance class. Uh, first, what is a dividend yield? The dividend yield is a dividend expressed as a percentage as compared to the current price of your stock. Uh, this is important because this is an excellent way to measure cash flow of dividends for each dollar that you've invested in the stock. In addition, if your stock has not increased in value, the dividend yield is also your return on investment for the stock. Alright, so for um, your finance classes, you're going to see two types of dividend yield problems. Uh, the first type is just the current dividend yield or the dividend yield, and the second type is your expected dividend yield. And we'll cover both of these uh, questions um, with this tutorial and in addition I'm going to show you how to solve these questions through Excel but also using your mathematical formulas. Alright so the first one we're going to do is the dividend yield and here's the sample problem that I've come up with. Janet purchased a stock last year for $70. Today she can sell the stock for $76.50. In addition the stock paid out a dividend two weeks ago of 50 cents, the expected growth rate of the dividends for the company is 3%. So first thing what we're going to do is we're going to complete our data block here. And I, I like to set up the data block and um, put all the pertinent information. Um, I'm going to pull it out from the question and put it into a structure that I, we can use not only for the dividend yield, but for other types of finance problems. The data block is critical in my humble opinion. So the current stock price is going to be 70. The next what we have here is a current dividend. So the current dividend is 50 cents. Growth rate is 3%. I like to put this into a decimal form. And then expected dividend, oh, well, we're going to have to calculate that one. So I'm going to leave that blank for right now. <coughs> All right, so the first way we're going to do our um, dividend yield, and we'll pull it over to the right. And so what we're going to be using is the current stock price and the current dividend. So for this problem, the purchase price is not relevant. We're not going to worry about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the current stock price and we're going to plug this into our denominator. And then we're going to take the current dividend and we're going to put that in our numerator. And once we divide this out, this gives us 0 .0065. And if you remember from the beginning of the video, um, the current dividend, the dividend yield is expressed as a percentage. So you have to flip this into a percent. So you move your decimal over twice, and then you get 0.65%. To accomplish this in Excel, what we're going to do is we're going to type in our equal sign. And then we're going to click on our current dividend, because that's going to be on our numerator. We're going to press our division sign. And the current stock price, I put 70. We're going to have to change that. The current stock price is 76.50. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our dividend yield. And we are going to take our numerator, which is the dividend. And we're going to divide that by our current stock price, which is 76.50. And that's going to give us 0 0.006539. And we're going to flip this into a percent. And we're also going to carry this out two decimals. For finance, two decimals is usually the standard that they're looking for. So next thing what we need to do is we need to focus on our expected dividend yield. <coughs> for the expected dividend yield, what we're going to need is the current stock price, which is a 76.50, the current dividend, which is 50 cents, and the growth rate, which is 3%. So the first step, what we're going to do is we're going to take our current dividend, which is D0, and we need to take that to D1, which is the expected dividend in the future. And the way we do this is we take our We're going to take our dividend 1, which is right here, and we're going to put it right here for the 0.5. We're going to drop our multiplication sign here, drop our parenthesis, drop our 1, drop our addition sign, 
and then we're going to plug in our growth rate right here and then using our using just our plan out algebra we're going to take the one we're going to add it to the 0 0.03 and that's going to give us a d1 is equal to the 0.5 times 1.3 and then what we're going to do for the set third step is we're going to multiply a 0 0.5 by the point we're going to take the 0 0.5 we're going to multiply that by the 1.03 and that gives us a d1 of 0.515 and for over here in Excel the way we calculate the expected dividend we put our equal sign and then what we're going to do is the first thing we need is the D0 so we're going to click on the D0 then we're going to use our multiplication open up a parenthesis and we're going to add 1 plus our growth rate and the growth rate is going to be the 3% and it's not showing up so we'll go ahead and type in 0 0.03 and then we will go ahead and close our parenthesis and hit enter and now what I'm a big fan of is I always want the um, I always want Excel to do the work for me so I'm going to go back I'm going to change the cell so the cell is E8 for this answer instead of 0 0.03 I'm going to change this to E8 and this way, if I ever change, if I ever go back and start changing these numbers, the expected dividend will change as well. So now we've got our expected dividend, and so that's our step one. Step two is we're going to use the same formula as the current dividend yield, except we are going to plug in the D1. We're going to plug the D1 into our numerator we are still using our current stock price of the seventy six dollars and fifty cents so for this one right here we're going to take our point one five point five one five which is our dividend one and we're going to divide that by the seventy six fifty and that's going to give us our expected dividend yield of point zero zero six seven and again uh, the dividend is always expressed as a percentage so we're going to flip this from a decimal into a percent and that gives us our 0.67 percent and now to do this in Excel we're going to type in our equal sign then our numerator is going to be the expected dividend and we're going to divide that by our current stock price which is a 7650 hit enter and we're going to flip this into a percent and then we're going to take it out too as well and this gives us our expected dividend yield hopefully everybody kind of followed where I was going with this and if you all need additional help please don't hesitate to contact me at tutorforfinance.com have a good day